for a high school student, I think it's great. It's a great first uh, contact with medicine. You cannot know what medicine means until you start practicing medicine. I think this is a great starting point if you didn't have it before. And if you already had a starting point, I think this is also a good continuity to do it. I think this is why uh, focusing on emergency medicine is very useful. In emergency medicine, you can get uh, a little bit of everything. The, the curriculum was focused on hands-on activities, precisely because how the brain works. You can explain something in a lecture, talk for one, uh, three hours, and by science we know 10% of the knowledge will be retained. Once you involve that person into the process of learning, and that person has to explain or has to do it, then you can uh, go up to 80%. There is a great center here in Boston that belongs to the Brigham and Women's Hospital. The simulation center is called Stratus Medical Center, and they have many simulations. Actually, the, the students intubate the mannequins that you can find there. Yesterday was a student that was much faster than me intubating, and was like, whoa, amazing, I love it. I think the groups are always uh, highly motivated. They have a great time here. I can see how much fun they have. Everyone is willing to participate. Maybe for some, it's going to be more difficult to open and, and to share, uh, but uh, we have two weeks. So during those two weeks, it happens. And also the hands-on activities that we were mentioning uh, help to that interaction and, and, and to that involvement. Yeah, many people already have the call and I, you can see it in the eyes. When you are talking about a specific topic, the eyes become wide open. You just feel like a rush of energy passing through that student. It's too short a time and the medicine and the discipline is too wide. But they can also get uh, uh, the first contact with that reality. So it's good to increase uh, the perspective and have a uh, a little bit uh, more of a clear vision.